Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Welcome back. In 1892, a group of immigrants from parts of Poland and Ukraine arrived in Indian Territory here in Oklahoma to mine for coal. They built a church in Hartshorn, and it's still there. Galen Culver visited to determine how they navigate their history and their modern heritage. The onion domes of a Russian Orthodox church reach for heaven in a slate gray sky in what could easily be the border region between Poland and Ukraine, but this is Hartzorn, Oklahoma, where the proud congregation of St. Cyril and Methodius has been meeting since the early 1890s. My grandfather was born in the Austrian Hungarian Empire. Jim Kirilko's grandfather emigrated from the foothills of the Carpathians and helped kiln the bricks that built this church in 1917. The bricks were killed or baked here at this site. The cornerstone is carved in both English and Cyrillic. Some of the eggs. Monica Brown's great grandparents, Peter and Maria Skimbo, helped too, between shifts underground in the coal mines, even fashioning Aposca eggs from brittle stained glass. I immediately think of the sacrifice and the work. This is what I consider my home church. Subdeacon Michael Zozula's great grandparents worshipped here as well, beneath the icons of Michael Kupitz and the memories of two Orthodox saints who worshipped here too. That are right here at the front of the church. Their ancestors left much behind and came to jobs that held great risk. But one thing immigrants who came here were very careful to set aside were old world grievances. This church fought in court for its independence from the Russian Orthodox Church a hundred years ago. The American flag now sits proudly beside the altar. Exactly. Everyone is, is welcome here. The congregation itself long ago learned to open their doors to everyone, and at least officially, to take no stance on the progress of current events. Instead of hurting anyone, we're just trying to pray for, everybody. Pray for, pray for everyone. And... As the daffodils begin to show a little Ukraine yellow, while waiting for the blue background to spring. The Onion Domes of Oklahoma offer their own history of hard-won independence and freely given grace. In Hartshorn, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Good stuff, Galen. An Orthodox priest still makes a monthly stop at the church in Hartshorn to conduct services, but a handful of devoted descendants still gather every Sunday to worship.